I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? This is Matt once again. Welcome back to another review. This is another request, this time for WRJ518. And for one thing, if anyone's ever interested in requesting pretty much any type of stuff, reviews, movie topics, whatever, you can request them either directly to my PayPal, send them there, or you can join my Patreon. I had a brain fart. <laughs> Either way, both links are down below in the info box, if not the worst. The reason I had a brain fart is because this film... Okay, Ted Bundy. I know the media said that this is a guy who is very suave, t kind of serial killer, but then other people say, well, no, nah, he's kind of DT in real life. Whatever the case may be, this is a film that you look at the cover, and there were other films that had almost the same cover. For example, Dahmer, starring Jeremy Renner. As Jeffrey Dahmer, which I haven't seen yet. This is a person with trying to have like a creepy face and then the title of the killer on top. And I'm like, okay, it's a movie about Ted Bundy. Let's see where this goes. And this plays off like a comedy at times. I was trying to be like a satirical parody of serial killer movies or the reason I say that is when I looked at the first 20 minutes of this film this is some of the stuff I see Ted Bundy talking to the mirror hi hi there my name's Ted nice to be you he keeps saying this and then at times he does these monkey like sounds and convulsing like he's having an orgasm hey my name's Ted nice to meet you <laughs> my name's Ted nice to meet you wow wow what, what the hell is going on? Or he, I guess Ted Bundy was a kleptomaniac, but the way it's played out, it's it's almost comedic. Here's a TV in front of a store, he steals the TV. There's a fucking plastic tree with a bunch of other ones, he steals it, puts it in his car. And then I'm wondering, when the fuck does this take place? Because I thought Ted Bundy was doing stuff in the 70s. Why is he at a club and techno music is playing? Techno. And I thought this was supposed to be the 1970s. Are people like dancing like it's the 70s? But it's techno music. And I know what it is because I recognize the song. Because it was in the trailer for Jet Least the One. If you watch the trailer for Jet Least the One, the second half of that trailer is this techno song. It's Beamish Cycle Slam. If you type in Beamish, B-E-A-M-I-S-H, then Psycho Slam, that's this fucking music playing. And a scene that's supposed to be in the 19 fucking 70s. And they're playing fucking techno music from 2001. That's why I'm like, what the fuck movie is this? There's a scene after that where he follows a girl home and he's jerking in the bushes. <laughs> and a guy who's up above, puts water on him. Oh hell, you would drops water on him like you would to a horny dog. 
We need to stop the humping. I'm like, what the fuck movie is this? And then it kind of gets away from that. Okay, here's this actor. I forget the actor's name. I should have looked it up. But okay, show him as Mr. Nice Guy. And you have this, he has this girl that devoted to him. I mean, fucking devoted to him. I guess for what I understand, the real Ted Bundy did, did a lot of admirers. A lot of female admirers. And Michael Riley Burke, he's not bad in the film, but I think you needed a different person to make it, not Matthew Bright. What the hell's Matthew Bright done? Writer and actor in 1980's Forbidden Zone. They even heard that fucking film. I guess he wrote and directed Freeway, the the film with Kiefer Sutherland, which I don't remember much about. Oh, he wrote Shrunken Heads, that fucking movie that the studio Full Moon thought would be a big deal because it went in the theaters, even though it says direct the video. But I remember in the advertising, they talked about how it was going in the theaters. But it says here Shrunken Heads was direct the video. I don't remember. It seemed like it made a big deal was going in the theaters, but... Maybe it was, and they changed their mind, smartly enough. But yeah, the lead guy isn't bad as Ted Bundy. I did Michael Riley Burke, but Matthew Bride, he helped write the film. He directed it. I'm sorry, man. I don't know what he was trying to do. Was he trying to maybe take the piss out of Ted Bundy and kind of make fun of him? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, there are elements that showcase how much of a sociopath Ted Bundy is, that he uses people's emotions against them in order to twist and turn them to his own liking, his own gain, his own fortune, saying what the nice things should be, the right things he should say to this lady to keep her loving him. But even then, when he's with her, he shows signs that he wants to have sex with her more aggressively, more angrily, and she just says, okay. I mean, she seems weirded out, but not enough to dump the guy. But I don't know, maybe that's what happened in real life. There are people like that. But then there are moments where he, for example, viciously breaks to a home, knocks out a lady, and while she's knocked out, handcuffs her and beats her with his fist. And you don't see, this is not a graphic film. So when I say beats, it's like this. Like that. Whether people are going to be disappointed in that or not, that's up to you, the viewer. And there are moments that could work, like he's chasing someone through the woods and he says something to uh, another point where he's like, This is the court of Ted. What I say it goes. Or how he uses his sociopathic tendency so he'll appear like he's hurt or he's got a flat tire or something else to get women to trust him and then he knocks him out, puts him in a car, and kills him. And there's like even a montage of his kills and him laying down with dead bodies and the sort. But because of the bullshit going on and the fact that they have a fucking techno song in 1970-something, and then it makes me go, well, what the fuck? Is, is any of this true? Is any of this bullshit? What's true and what's not? Go watch a documentary, I guess, if that's the case. But it's like... It's tonal shifts are just ridiculous. His girlfriend just always says, well, you don't want me? Oh, what about the other girl? Always thinking he's cheating on her. I'm like, this guy has enough fucking false flags and red flags and any other fucking flag. The Mexico flag, the American flag, the Canadian flag, all the goddamn flags of every country. Red alert, red alert to be like, hey, get the fuck away from this guy. But this girl doesn't realize that instead keeps thinking he's cheating on her. What about the other girl? Huh? But you seen the other girl? I guess not in the way you think, lady. <sighs> Tiffany Shepis, who in other independent films, she's in this as a potential victim, but then beats the fuck out of him. Which... The scene plays out more funny than I think it was supposed to be. Is I like the idea. Oh, hey, a girl beating the shit out of him and escaped. And apparently, Tiffany Shepis is based on a real person that was an almost victim. I don't know if she beat the shit out of Ted Bunny like this Tiffany Shepis did in this. 
But it almost be more funny the way you handled and Okay, one example of what I'm talking about. There's a scene where he kills a cheerleader. It cuts straight to Jingle Bell's music and Christmas trees. And it just made me... <laughs> I'm like, is this a fucking comedy? Or is this about Ted fucking Bundy? What is this? Is this a comedy or is it Ted fucking Bundy? Tom Savini has a cameo as a detective. He's in like one scene, then he disappears. You never see him again. It's, oh, there's Tom Savini, but then he's gone. Then it showcases the times he escapes. I'm like, was it this easy in real life? Maybe. Literally, he just in the library. They took his cuffs, the cuffs off, because sociopath. He plays on people's emotions, trying to be charming. Then he just opens up the window, walks out the window, and he escapes. I'm like, was it that easy? God damn, security sucked ass back in the day. And then there's another scene where he got caught. He's in prison again. And he's like fucking a girl in public. You know how people have visits? So you have criminals talking with their families. And there's even kids there talking with their dads who are criminals. And there's Ted Bundy fucking a chick against the wall where anyone can see him. Including the kids and anybody. And I'm like, oh, well he paid a guard off. Did that happen? Maybe it did and truth is stranger than fiction, but... I don't know, I just, a lot of this stuff just plays off as a comedy. Fucking laughable. And he escapes prison again. He kills some ladies with a piece of log. Sometimes he put in real news footage, like when his execution is coming up and they have real news footage of people going, yay, burn the fucker. And then I, I guess this is what they do when they execute someone, they shave his head, and then they bend him over, and they get cotton. Where's that going? We're gonna stuff this cotton up your butt. What? Yeah, we're gonna stuff it up your butt, you know, so you don't mess yourself. And then, I guess the point is this extended scene of him being tortured while guards are sticking this cotton up his ass. Hey, the guy killed all these girls. Oh well. Cool. Do I have the... That's like the one moment of lengthened torture is on Ted Bundy. So I'm guessing that was done in, for some reason to be some uh, God, what's the word I'm looking for? A meaning behind it. Representation of certain ideals that the director wanted to come across for the viewer while watching the film but I saw okay cool this some bitch deserves it. he's getting what he deserves getting tortured annually raped by fingers up the butt with cotton feels like it goes on forever and that's really what it felt like it just felt boring like I did it I did it I did it okay then they put the diaper on him I, I guess is what they do when they electrocute someone put cotton up the ass and give him a diaper if even if that's the case again I did if that's the point that you want to torture Ted Bundy and so much of this I'm like what the fuck is true what the fuck is not and what the fuck is bullshit and what's not is so that you have to have a bullshit detector while watching this and I don't know if it's if none of it is bullshit the name Ted Bundy led a comedic life at times. And then that electrocution is not much. They electrocute him. Some blood comes down his nose. And then his former girlfriend was with another guy. She has this weird line delivery. Who was that guy? Who was Ted Bundy? What the fuck are you asking, lady? You went out with him for years. You didn't think when the guy literally had sex with you where he wanted you to pretend to be dead literally there's a scene where just keep your eyes open 
don't breathe. What? Don't breathe. And then it's fucking you violently. And yet you want... That scene happened to you. And no red flags went up. But you want to sit here and go, who was Ted Bundy? I didn't. Like a weird thing for the end where you have little random kids going, I'm Ted Bundy. I'm Ted Bundy. I'm Spartacus. That's what the fuck... And then like a little girl holding a dead cat. I'm Ted Bundy. I, I didn't. I guess... That was supposed to be the director letting people know Ted Bundy could be anybody. Ted Bundy was a kid once. Just like these kids. They could be future Ted Bundys as well. Watch out out there. I'm like, this is, seems stupid. And you know what? How about you go to the actual psyche of the guy? How about the actual psyche of Ted Bundy? Try to unravel that. Or have some epiphanies or some other tense of symbolism seeing like you want to have symbolism with other stuff how about this go into the mind and psyche oh you know what go watch Henry Porter or Serial Killer that seems more of a Ted Bundy movie than this <laughs> that's what I mean like this f the lead guy was not bad he was just given some stupid stuff to do Tom Zavini cool to see him in a cameo death scenes no, nothing really to say about that. I'd have to watch a fucking Dr. Mary Ted Bunny to see what was true and what was bullshit. And so I'm watching, I'm going, what the fuck did I do now of this? It seemed, it definitely streamed direct the video. And I just, the tonal shifts where it turns is so fucking goofy, I think hurt the film. Maybe people would enjoy it because they thought it was weird or intriguing or quirky. I don't know if that works for the film about Ted fucking Bundy. But hey, maybe people who are experts, they go, that stuff's true, Matt. But I guess I'm not the right audience for it. It is what it is. So thanks for watching. Take care. The directing is very basic. I don't know why there's a goddamn techno song even supposed to be in the 70s so many years go by but no one fucking ages Ted Bundy never ages the girl never ages again this is supposed to be a span of years you think they would at least put some makeup to show that time has passed for all I know a fucking week has passed with how they look the same so I barely even get a chance of so show it showcasing the timeline of this fucking thing. Was it years, days, weeks, months? Fuck all of I know. Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you guys later. Bye bye.